Hey guys, Basil and Will with Grayson Hobby, and we finally have a new unique product in the FPV uh, industry here. The real question is, are you team red or are you team blue? Oh, yeah, that's all I gotta hey, say. Total coincidence. I never kicked the drum before, so I don't. I'm gonna kick it out that way. Okay. So I would probably like. Well, I want to make sure it. I get you kick it. All right. Are you gonna fly it when you kick it? I'm gonna see right. how well it recovers. We have no idea know. what we're doing here. This might be an ultimate fail, but we're gonna try it anyway. All right, so what we have here, we have these fly -in soccer balls from LDA ARC. In this video, we're going to go over it, we're going to fly it, Will's going to go outside, do some tricks with it, and then, as always, we are going to smash... Basically beat the, the crap, crap out, out of, of these things. Yeah. And see if we can break... Oh, you made it! Oh, I didn't pre -hour. Oh no, it's y'all. Okay, okay, so... Is it upright? Oh my gosh! Oh, he didn't like that one at all! He did not like it. So I put a spin on it. And... Right the throw. Where is it? Which way is it? Uh oh. He's pissed. Oh my god, he's I, I hit it really hard. You with my hand. punched it pretty much I, out of the props. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Generally you would de you know throttle down before you crash, but uh that was a surprise. Right. I we definitely sma we, we smacked the crap hit it pretty hard. It. Okay. So that being it. said, all the props. Let's see. Okay, this one here has a small nick, so this guard hit hard enough to flex. Oh yeah, let me look. Yeah. I'm, well, no, it's designed to flex. Right. I, I understand that, but I'm saying, despite all that crash, there's the slightest nick on the end of the prop here and here. I mean, that's just that's cool. So this this is a great idea because you can learn to fly, crash, beat it up, and just, oh no, panic, shut off the motors, and it'll pretty much write itself back up. Okay, like always, if you find value in this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, every little purchase you make from Grayson Hobby helps support this channel. Either a pack of props, pack of quads, and a pack of radios. Everything you see here, ships from Atlanta. We got a huge warehouse. Everything is located here. We don't do no drop shipping, and it's about two to three days normally um, to the pretty much the whole eastern border side of the US. Yep. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook group. Link is below. We got lots of guys helping each other out. Will and I sometimes are on there, sometimes we're not. So, <laughs> so what we got is inside the box. I went ahead and opened the box. You get a little bag here, uh, the FB156 LDARC, so formerly known as King Kong. This size I like. This is great because it's a lightweight, it's simple, low parts count, um, durable. They did a good job with this one. So the drone itself, without a battery, and the lens cap. Let's take the lens cap off. That's a little cheat. Oh, it's 951. Let's, let's zero it just to make sure I didn't zero it. All right. 95.1 grams for the drone itself. Hold on. Let me make sure everybody can see the drone. 95.1. Okay. And then we're going to, this is the 450 uh, mini star, 450 uh, three cell. I'm just going to put this in here so it's mimics the weight. So with the battery, you're looking at 140.8. Uh, in this particular case, given my battery is weighing 45.7 grams. So right. flying weight is still mm -hmm. under 150 grams with a 450. Uh, it can fly, I believe they recommend around a 650 as well. Okay. Uh, so that probably adds another 20 grams, but you're still under 250 grams. Nice. All right, so we got the weight. Why does this thing measure out? <laughs> so hard. given the fact that it's a flying ball, let's just do a little overlay here. They said 156. I guess that's why it's called the FB 156, huh? <laughs> um, given that, so you're looking at 156 millimeter diameter um, across, and I would imagine since it's a ball, yeah, this is a round ball. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a flying oval. All right. Yeah, so. it's not a flying oval until you smash it enough, right? Yeah. They're using 2024 blade props, so it's a two inch prop. Um, so already on, installed on the yeah already put, put together that literally that comes out of the bag like this. So we take it to the box. It it's like that. Receiver's in. already there. It's just a matter of binding it, and put a okay. battery in. But the motors are 1203, 6500 kb. So it's a great little sweet spot for a three cell uh, battery. It's using an F4 flight controller with a 25 amp four in one. So it's an AIO. So it looks like the uh, the flight controller and speed controller are all one board. All right. 
Uh, I know what that is, but explain to everybody else what AIO is. AIO is when you include multiple things. So it's got the basically the PDB, the flight controller, and the ESCs is all one specific board. The VTX is a, a tiny rocket, so I believe that's made by Rush FPV. Run cam, nano two uh, yeah. camera on it. So it's not a bad camera. It's like a $20 camera, realistically. Um, but you can upgrade it. So you're not stuck with only that. So if you do want a better image down the road, you can do that. It's not a um, specific to the model, to the uh, camera, to the quad, like the old ET-115s, et cetera. Um, again, it uses a three cell battery. You cannot use a four cell battery on it. You will- Your balance lead, LEDs, because the way um, the battery is mounted in this, ESCs, you don't want that bar balance lead so getting chopped up by the props because it does battery. sit inside in the, the past, cage. guys, we've had a lot of three cell uh, jobs see, that we've thrown a four cell on and gotten yeah, more performance. Right. Don't do it with this. They stress it so highly on I'm many parts. I'm going to be a little lazy and not manual, saying, redo the strap. Do not run you... a four cell battery. Okay. You will damage it. Reset only. All right. So how does the battery in this cage? Okay. So I'm going to grab a battery I've used earlier. Um, this is the drone. The this set. is not the one I've been flying. So let me grab the one that I have bound here. Um, nice thing. One thing I want to point out. If you get a red, uh, the red or the blue, and I will go over that in a minute, they actually show like, color code. Yeah, they actually color coded the bags, which wow. I thought that was pretty nice. That's they did that little cool. smile on it. All right, so we um, have a looks like a China Hobby Line. This is a 450 three cell. Three cell. Um, so this is going to be on the smaller side. It's going to give you about a three minute flight, probably three and a half minute flight, depending on how much power. If you're just flying around inside about half throttle, you're definitely going to get longer flights than that. Uh, I took it outside, just punched it around, doing flips and rolls and stuff like that. Um, and I got just shot, just just right at three minutes that I was comfortable with. Batteries came down at 3.7 volts. I don't like flying my batteries any lower than that. Um, so, but let me go ahead and show you guys the color. Ooh, so ooh. this is the blue. As shown here with yeah. the little straps. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the red one too so you guys can see them side by side. Oh wow, look at that. Super nice. So what you have here is the blue band and the red band and the rear of it is the green LED. So these, the there we go. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a, is that a green or is that yellow? Uh, maybe it is. I'm partially colorblind, so don't judge it, me. It's yellow. Guys, I'm pretty sure it's green, but hey, who knows? That's green. That's yellow. Or amber. All right, enough talk. I want to see this, this unique object fly. Okay. So one thing I'm going to recommend is when you guys do uh, put it in, Make sure to get a rubber band, tape, whatever you do, and secure your balance lead because the way the batteries mount in this, you don't want that ba balance lead getting chopped up by the props because it does sit inside the cage. Got the battery in there. Plugs in heel. All right. Ready to fly? Yeah. All right. So we're yeah, I mean, I in my mind, that. this is a trainer. This is something for someone that wants to learn how to fly and doesn't have great success in the past maybe, or they're just really scared of the moving props and they have limited space to fly, etc. cetera, um, or they just want something different. Different, this that. is definitely yeah. different. You wanna crash into anything. I mean, we've crashed this into the walls, the ground, the grass, the concrete, the driveway, the shelves, and it did <laughs> not, it, it, it self righted itself. And that was just amazing. And you don't even need to do the walk of shame because you can just- Yeah, and for- I mean, and this particular model, I've already changed the throttle curve on it, so I'm, I'm more around hovering that throttle. But out of the box, this sucker has a lot of power, so be ready for it with a lighter battery to jump out at you. Looks like a the Death Star from, yeah. from uh, Star Wars. It's, it's pretty nimble. Uh, stop jumping around, I can't record. I'm flying. Let's hover for a quick second. That's the flying Death Star. Do a, do a yaw turn all the way around. That is so cool looking. All right, let's stand back. All right, do, do your thing. All right, hold on, ready? Bring it down lower. point out this here watch it oh. so crashing it like that watch it naturally no down. way it writes itself dude that's like the ultimate so, turtle that being said it, it kind of is yeah so with this ball it it writes itself over occasionally with the lightweight battery i noticed it would get stuck like this you, but with a little bit of power it writes right. itself back up let's, let's but when you're running the larger battery it's more likely the, the i guess the buoyancy of it, it's more likely to keep it 
uh, vertical after a crash. So it'll roll around and right itself. So you can literally take it, roll it around, and it centers itself. So. No way. So, that is so cool. But like, as far as durability, oh, of course I would hit the one no. quad. Here. <laughs> I keep forgetting the green light's not the front of the drone. Um, so like, as far as cracking this and stuff, and this is the one thing All right, you're, I now you're, guys. Now you're stuck. Yeah. So out of the box, it comes with the motors always spinning. Because of this design and all that, I would actually prefer to have angle mode with um, motor stop on. Because when you do crash, it lets itself right itself if you don't have the motors running and fighting it, drifting across the floor. So um, that's one thing I would suggest is putting motor stop on. Um, and if you're not comfortable with acro mode or anything like that, maybe do a motor stop on on one mode and then the motor's running on the other mode and two different angle modes and a horizon. Um, but you got, you know, depending on what the radio, if you got a TX-16 or something like that, you can do so many different modes, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's just, that's cool. So this, this is a great idea because you can learn to fly, crash, beat it up and just, oh no, panic, shut off the motors, and it'll pretty much write itself back up. All right, put the motors on. I'm gonna try to drop it. So that's, that's why I recommend again, that's why I recommend the motor stop, because it kind of, the gyro right. will kind of fight it a little bit. So you're, right now the motor's on. Ready? Oh, jeez. Hold on, put it, put, it, put it back down. Put it back down. <laughs> all right cut so will how do you uh bind that guy all right guys so in order to make this video a little easier for you guys to understand the receivers underneath the canopy i'm gonna go ahead and take the canopy off uh for visual purposes you don't really need to take it off you can see the receiver through the slots but for the sake of the video so you guys see what's going on i'm gonna go ahead and take the top off and it's just four screws over here all right so the receiver let me get the battery plugged in here. I'm gonna use my bind buddy. So we're gonna get that plugged in here. So we've got the switch here. Um, you will need a D16 capable transmitter, whether it's a jumper, radio master, free sky, etc. But it's D16 protocol. And um, it does not work with Spectrum, Fly Sky, Free Sky, or Fly Sky, or any of those. Radio but master. FR Sky D16. Uh, depending on what firmware you have, this may say FR Sky X, etc. But we're gonna go ahead and bind this here. So the receiver is gonna be this one with the black antenna sticking out. Hold on, let me get that. Okay. So the bind button's in the center right here. This is the receiver, this is the ultra micro receiver, but the bind button is this little gold tab right here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna depress this little tab. You can feel a little click when you press it and then power up the receiver. You'll see the green flashing. What receiver is that again? AC900. Okay. Then we're just gonna start the bind. And I, I mean, you can do, it doesn't have telemetry, so you can do one through eight or nine through 16. I like the nine through 16 for the telemetry being on the last channel for the receiver. Okay. Um, so I just bind it there Let's and you'll see it. it goes red. And then when you either, either bind either times out or you cancel it, you'll see the LED go green. And the, in this case, the beeper went off a little bit too. Okay, so, so now it's bound, it is connected. I can't get over how strong it was. There's also one thing, Will was out there doing power loops and rolls. And yeah, it'll, it'll flip, it'll loop and roll. The one thing I will say though, is the battery being at the bottom, it's designed to, you know, get it balanced when it falls down and, you know, right itself back up. But I do, for someone that's new at it, you probably won't notice it, but some of the rolls and all that, I felt the weight, more of a barrel roll feel uh, it wasn't much, but it definitely you could feel the, the weight flying at centrifugal force or whatever you call it. I get it, yeah. But again, it's not designed for freestyle, it's more designed for crash. Yeah. All right, guys, there you have it. This is one unique design. You guys should pick up one or two. This is something you could get a red and a blue and just beat the crap out of each other. Yep. You know, fly into each other, mess around. Um, something you could have fun with. I could hit you in the face. Please don't. I, I'm tired of getting hit in the face. Like,